Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of the Alto 2. The Alto 2 is a talking mobile phone from the RNIB. In the past, if you required a phone with speech, then your only option was to buy a smartphone. The Alto 2 provides a more affordable alternative to a smartphone, and is particularly suitable for people who don't want, or require, the features or complexity of a smartphone. So now let's have a look round the Alto 2. So if we look at the right hand side of the Alto, there are three buttons. This top button is a repeat speech button. When you first switch on the phone, uh, this will tell you your mobile phone network name. It would be more useful if it would tell you things such as the battery level or the signal strength. Uh, unfortunately on this on this product these can only be accessed through quite a complex uh, series of, of keystrokes. Below that we have the volume button. So we've got volume up and volume down. Turning the volume down to the minimum puts the phone into silent mode and also switches off the speech so that's something you need to be aware of. During a call, you can also use these buttons to increase or decrease the volume of the caller's voice. So now we come onto the front of the phone. The Alto 2 features a 2 inch colour LCD display. On the left hand side of the phone is a square call button. In the middle of the phone, there is a, two navigation buttons and an OK button in the middle. And on the right hand side there is a round red end button for ending the call. Some people may find the OK button in the middle a little bit difficult to find. And it would have been better if they had perhaps used the call button instead of having this, this extra OK button. If we come onto the left hand side of the phone, we can see we have a earphone socket for use with the hands-free kit which does come supplied with the phone. Although it's not a true hands-free kit as you do actually have to dial the phone using your fingers rather than just voice activated. Unfortunately there's no voice activation features on this product. A little bit further down we do have the USB charging socket which is hidden beneath this little cover. One of the nice features of the Alto 2 is that when it comes to charging the phone, rather than having to fiddle about with connectors, you can just simply drop it into its own charging dock. Again, this home supply is a standard with the phone. The Alto 2 is what's known as a slider phone. This means that to use the phone, all you have to do is slide the bottom upwards to reveal the keypad. After a few seconds the Alto will announce the Alto is ready. So to make a call I can either use the keypad to dial the number so as I do this it will announce the number that I, I've just pressed. If I make a mistake, I can press on the round end key to delete the last number that I, di I dialed. Unfortunately, the Alto 2 doesn't actually tell me what number I've deleted. So if there's, if there's several numbers I need to delete, you just have to count back. So that's, that's not a very good usability feature. But if I do want to know what I've already dialed, if I press the speech button on the side of the phone, Zero one five three five. it will read out the, uh, the number that I've dialed. To make it call, all I do is just press the green button and that will dial the number. Call into zero one five three five. 
I don't want to make that hole, so I've just pressed the red end button to abandon that hole. I can also use the phone book to hold a contact. So the easiest way of doing this is just to press on the up and down arrow buttons and that will scroll through the phone book. So as you can hear, the name of the contact is spoken as a dialect. Now, the Alto 2 can have up to 200 contacts on it. So to make it easier to find a contact, you can use the letters on the number keys to jump directly to that contact. So for example, if I press number 4, which is the letter H, it jumped to home. If I press number 6, which is the letter O, it'll jump to office. So this this makes it a little bit easier to find to find a number if you've got quite a lot of if you've got quite a lot of entries in your contacts. To actually make that hole, all I have to do is press on the green hole button. And then I just press OK. Calling to Fisson progress. And again, in this case, I'm just going to abandon that. So as you can see, it's quite easy to actually make a call either using the keypad or using the phone book on the Alto 2. So when I receive a call on the Alto 2, it will both ring and display the name of the person who's calling and their phone number, if available. Unavailable is calling you. To answer the call, all I have to do is press the call button. And then I can speak to the person. Or, and then if I want to hang up, I can just press end. Alternatively, I could have just pushed the phone upwards and spoken and brought it back down again to end the call. So to send a text message, the first thing I do is press the OK button call log. and then come down to Messages. Contacts. Messages. And you'll notice that all of the options in the menu are spoken as I, as I move through the menu system. So I press on OK, Inbox. and I want to write a message, so I'll press the down arrow until I get to write message, Outbox. Write message. and then press OK, Dead. and then I can choose what, which contact I want to send the message to. Demo. So if I press OK, and then I can use the letters on the keypad to actually write my message. So, Now I've made a mistake though, I don't want that zero, so if I press the end button, that will delete it for me. But as when dialing the number, it doesn't tell me what I've deleted, so I can have what I've written already read back to me. So now if I press zero again for the space, then and now, now that I've written my message, again I can have it read back to me. And I can press OK. Have a nice day. And for some reason it doesn't read out the fact that the menu is now saying send. Uh, I can verify that by pressing the down arrow. Abort. Send. And then press OK. And that will now send the message. The message has been sent. You have one new messages.
So when I receive a text message on the Alto demo, it will announce the fact that I've received a new text message and it will also it will also tell me how many messages I've received. So to read the text message, all I have to do is slide the phone open and then press on the OK button and then press on the OK button. and the phone will read the message out to you. Now it doesn't always do this. Uh, if it doesn't, then what you need to do is press on OK for reply, then press the red button and then the phone will read the message to you. So this obviously seems to be a little bit of a bug with the phone. So to reply to a message, all I have to do is press the OK button. Do you want to reply to this message? And then I can press the OK button again. Write the message. And I can type my message in. Again, it's come up with the send menu and I pressed OK and I wanted to send it but it, again it hasn't told me what, that I am actually at the send menu. I can confirm that I'm at the send menu by using the arrow keys to go up and down and then pressing OK. So in conclusion the Alto 2 is an easy to use talking mobile phone particularly suited to people who don't want the complexity or the cost of a smartphone. So let's have a look at its good points. Well the phone's easy to use. There are a few problems such as the fact that it doesn't tell you what letters that you've deleted are and that the repeat speech button doesn't tell you things such as signal strength or the battery level and also we, as we saw in this demonstration, it doesn't always read out a text message immediately. All the menu options are spoken, uh, which is very good, so the phone is fully accessible. And also the, the voice is adjustable, so you can choose between a male voice and a female voice. You can also adjust the contrast of the display, and the volume of the phone when you're actually listening to it is quite loud. The phone is hearing aid compatible, uh, so it should be suitable for most people. It's also nice that the phone comes with a charger stand, so it eliminates the need to have to fiddle about plugging in USB sockets. But if you if you do prefer to do that, you do have that option to do that. So now let's have a look at the bad points. You have to use a very complex series of keystrokes to get information on battery and signal strength and these aren't at all intuitive. It's also quite easy to press the volume buttons on the side of the phone by mistake and inadvertently put the phone into silent. Now I think this will probably be something that you'll have problems with when you first start using the phone but as you get more used to it, it will become less of a problem. I think the OK button could be a lot more prominent than it is. And also there's no speed dial. On most mobile phones you can dial a number by pressing down and holding a number such as a number 2 or a number 1 for the voicemail. And unfortunately this isn't possible on the Alto 2. It would also have been quite nice if it could have voice activation so quite a few people who have seen it have said can I speak to it and um, they can't. So it's not possible to say to it, call home, or anything like that. But, in general, it's a good product, and it's certainly an improvement on uh, talking mobile phones that have been released in the past. So we hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the Alto 2. This has just been a brief demonstration of the features of the phone. And if you would like a full demonstration, then please contact our helpline 
for an appointment to visit our resource centre where we can give you, spend more time with you showing you how the phone works. If you would like to learn more about Sighteredale, then please visit our website at www.sighteredale.org.uk or you can watch us on YouTube or like us on Facebook.